Okay, I wanna preface by saying if you own an Amazon Echo, please disable it. Hit that mute button right now because I will be using that hot word and I don't wanna turn or mess up your smart home stuff. So go ahead and pause the video, do that now and then come back. Okay, assuming you've already done that. So last week I did a video on my home theater setup and I also did a couple of smart home tricks, I guess if you wanna call them that. So basically if you walk into any part of my home and you say, Alexa, turn on lights, the lights will automatically turn on without you having to say, turn on living room lights, turn on kitchen lights, turn on bathroom lights. You don't have to be specific. So in my home, for example, there's an area in the living room and kitchen where it's basically the same room, essentially, Obviously the kitchen is on one side, the living room's on another side, but depending on where you are in that room, if you say Alexa turn on lights, it will know where you are. Why? Because it knows based on the distance of where you are and that echo. So one is strategically placed in the kitchen and then one is right in the living room area behind the subwoofer. So how did I do that? So it's very easy. All you need to do is get an Amazon Echo. You'll need at least one. You'll need a smart switch, preferably Z-Wave. And if you are using a Z-Wave device, you will need a hub. Um, or if you have something like a Philips Hue, or maybe if you have something like a LifeX bulb, that'll also work too. Now with Philips, you'll, it already comes with its own hub, so you don't have to worry about that. So what we'll need to do is go into the Amazon Echo app. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and fire that up. And then assuming you haven't done this, go into the smart home and then go into the devices area. Go ahead and push on add device. Now assuming, like I said, if you haven't done this, what it will do is find all of your devices that are in your home's Wi-Fi network and it'll basically sync them and you'll start to see them here. So for example, you can see all of the different lights and different switches and just stuff that you've added into your smart home. So now once you've done that, go ahead and push on groups. So we're gonna go ahead and add a group because that's how you do it. You group, you group the echo and the light switch or light together. So let's go ahead and add a group. There's two ways, two things you can do here when you add a group. You can add a smart home group or a multi-room music group. So I don't wanna go too much into the music group. I'll give you the TLDR version. Essentially, if you have two echo devices in the same room, you can create like a stereo configuration. In a nutshell, that's basically what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and push on smart home group. Now, what is the name of the group? You can name it whatever you want, obviously for you to remember. In this case, I deleted the one in my family room or living room. So I'm gonna go ahead and push on family room and then push on next. Now, what echo am I going to use? So as you can see here, there's one called living room. So that's the echo that is right behind my subwoofer. And then what lights is it going to control? So I'm just gonna search here and then find, ah, there it is, living room, and then go ahead and push on save. And that's basically it. You've created your group and now next time, whenever you say, Alexa, turn on lights, that light bulb using that echo will trigger it. Now you can actually pair multiple light bulbs to one echo. So for example, if my living room light had, let's say for example, a lamp, and let's say it had some other underground, underground under lighting, uh, you can actually pair as many light switches, as many light bulbs with that one echo. So whenever you say turn on lights, or even if you just say good night or specific you know, keyword, uh, it will turn on and off. So hopefully you found this very useful and then you can up your smart home game. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also follow me on Instagram if you guys wanna see behind the scenes. Thanks again for watching and you will catch me in the next one. Adios.